gender in the classroom. So um, Malaysia were chosen to, to run, um, to have this, uh, what we call it, action gender. So we, were, we, we choose seven schools throughout the country. So we choose um, uh, from almost each state of Malaysia. We have 14 states, so we choose eight schools. So the teacher is, is, is running, is, is doing the action research in their own class. Because action research is good whereby you realize what is a problem in your class. So you try to work, work it out, then you, at the end of the day, you get a very good result. No? Yes. So, and then from that result, we share in our um, international conference. So we share it um, with our teachers that uh, being a teacher, you know, they, they have certain 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 ways of teaching, especially when, when we have a, pro a little bit problems with our boys in Malaysia. Whereby our boys doesn't like to read, you know, doesn't like a long winding text, you know. So this teacher, they come up with a very nice solution. That for example, like um, in a science class, I remember that one teacher, she's doing, uh, they call it her, her way is do it yourself, you know. So they are, she's giving the piece of paper, to each of the students, so they have to, to find um, the in information. And she realized that the boys doesn't like to do it. You know, the boy will read towards the girl, the girl will go and find the information. But then when it comes to um, 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 taking or bringing all the appliances for, the, for, the, for them to carry out the experiment, the boys is so keen to do that. Then only uh, she make a conclusion, is that our boys doesn't like to read especially science, physics, biology, you know. But then when it comes to hands-on experience, it's better for the boys. Yes, uh, that because is, they are more active. Yeah, they are more active. Should That's it. Promise? So if anything okay. got to do with gender, I'll be the one who will, will be looking for the information, who will be um, uh, finding the information, looking at the data and everything regarding gender in Ministry of Education. Okay. Uh, Zalia, <coughs> yesterday you mentioned in your presentation that mm -hmm. uh, Education is uh, girls' education mm -hmm. is not an issue. Yes. Um, how you elaborate this to us? Okay. Um, uh, based on our report, because because uh, for the report we go by gender parity index, whereby you can we can see how many girls and many boys in, 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 in the education per se. Then when we look not just because of this data, but a long long time ago we realize that our girl is getting better and better and better. Especially in our our uh, primary school, uh, uh, preschool, you know, so more girls are uh, enrolled in in the system, and then when you go to uh, secondary school, you have more number of girls compared to boys, you know. And then beside that, uh, when we when we um, analyze our public examination too, you know, so we realize that our girls outnumbers the boys, you know. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, we can we can make a conclusion. I guess that that um, our girls is doing better than 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 the boys. So in that case, we don't have problem with our girls at that point of of of, of at that point of time because the girls get everything as compared to the boys. Because in Malaysia we don't have um, um, policy that telling oh boys should be going to school compared to girls. No, our our um, policy is very very straightforward that. Education should be given to everybody, regardless the races, the religions, and the gender. Mm -hmm. So, if you have two son, two two children, one girl, one boy, they should get the same education by the school age. When the government said seven years old, you should enroll a student. Then you have to enroll. You know. So that's why when when I when I first in my first introduction, I said, I said that girl is no problem. Because we have a lot of girls, more than boys. For example, we reached our gender parity in that for um, preschool in 2005, when our GPI is 1.01. We, we we say that it is the best idea that we have more or less a girl. In fact, in our primary too, we, we, we reach our gender parity index in 2005, where we have 1 1.01. Uh, based on gender parity, but when we look at our secondary result or secondary data, then only we will realize that our our boys is left over, okay. But then our girls is improving a lot. Okay. If I can just uh, quote here that the data that we have for our boys and girls, okay, um, this is based on our CEDAW report in Malaysia. So we are, we are reporting. Secondary school, our girls is about this is the participation rate. Our girl is about 90.7 percent. Meanwhile, our boys is 85.8 percent. 
Oh, it's, it's an octopus yeah, like a yeah, fucking person. Yes. So no. Sally, uh, <clears throat> while being here in Pakistan mm -hmm. and like um, you might have uh, gone through our different uh, researches mm -hmm. regarding the girls' education yeah. in Pakistan, mm -hmm. and you have listened to a couple of presentations during the, these two days, mm -hmm. and, um, usually it is considered that girls' education is an issue in Pakistan because Pakistan is a Muslim state, mm -hmm. and we are facing militancy because Pakistan is a Muslim state. While when we look at Malaysia, that girls' education is not an issue over there, and we can see a marked difference of 13% in, mm -hmm. in the, uh, your GPA. So, what is your uh, observation that uh, why girls' and edu girls' education in a, is an issue over here in Pakistan? While Pakistan okay. is equal with the Muslim state yeah. as Malaysia is. Okay, I think based on my experience, not just only in Pakistan, how my involvement with UNESCO regarding education for mm -hmm. all, uh, um, I went almost every year for the regional meeting in Bangkok. That, Girls' education is just not part in Pakistan only. It is around the world. When when we talk about girls' education, uh, for example, in Southeast Asia countries, mm -hmm. Thailand is having the same problem. Myanmar, you know, Cambodia. In fact, Thai, um, um, Indonesia a little bit way back ago, and then Philippines, you know. So they are having a problem. But then I was wondering too, why is Malaysia that we we don't have problem amongst girls? It is most probably because, because um, uh, it's just by, 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 by what, what I feel my own opinion is that our girls in Malaysia, because education is there for them, you know? Mm. So, so um, what our ministry uh, did was, so um, three, four villages, we have one school, you know? So if I were the mother, I would send my, my children there if there is no problem regarding the safety nurse, you know? Mm. Because we, 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 we don't build our, our school far away from their villages, you know? So the school is almost in, in, in terms of very, very short radius of their villages. So being a mother, so the girl can go to school easily. But most probably compared to what I, I've learned from, from the presentation, that your, your district is very far from one another. You know, yes. yeah. I mean, the hillside. You know, you know. Schools uh, the schools are far distant. And then, being a mother, uh, I'm talking about my safety of my children. You know. Yes. So if if I have a chance to send my boy or my girl, I choose to send my boy. That is number one. Okay. When you talk about um, about um, uh, Malaysia is a Muslim country, Pakistan is a Muslim country. Okay. The main important thing in Malaysia is that the our government, uh, our government put an effort that uh, by saying that education is the priority for all of the population in Malaysia. If, if he said that, that the education is the main thing, you know, so nobody can say anything, I guess, because this is what the government wants. And then we wanted our, our children to be educated from as early as the preschool until the tertiary and then until the varsity you know so um, another thing is that um, uh, in malaysia uh, we are quite open in a way that um, we don't desegregate between the girls and the boys in fact as i mentioned yesterday out of 7840 so we ha we have only 125 in secondary school that is um, uh, single gender and then uh, about 150 something, um, 159 for primary, uh, 124 for secondary school. It means that uh, our students receive the same education, like if the boy is getting the same number, the girl is getting the same number. Besides that, um, we don't go by gender. So if you are at this age, you should be in school, that's it. I think that as I remember, Historically. yeah, as I remember that, um, well, um, I can say that um, during the 1950s, 50s, something like that. So girls, girls also are not are not welcome to school. Uh, in in, um, uh, in in about I think 1980. Hold on, I, I can't remember the the, the fact is that. I can you just go the through. Facts in your <laughs> <today>. <laughs> That's a well-known yeah. ministry, actually, so, and our, yeah. our should be like this. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I think in 19. Um, oh, when was that? Is um, there's a fact that I think I can share it with you that when we talk about about this uh, gender issues, you know. So um, it Malaysia way back long, long time ago when girls are not really ah. It's true. Yeah. 